My name is Jubex, Ninja Master Nick here, and today I'm going to be starting my Ninjago Season 10, much of only hey, watching review, hey, videos, and unlike the previous hey, Ninjago seasons, and the future ones, hey, this one is the shortest season that's ever came out. And this has four episodes in it. And four I think like for the tenth anniversary. Yeah, or something. Yeah, for Ninjago. Or at least for one hundred episodes of Ninjago. And I believe in some areas and there's is that like that a 40-ish minute movie. And, and this is the last season in the uh, Masters of Spinjitzu era. And, and also have a last uh, season that has 22 minute episodes. That was until season 11 to crystallized. I came out now then hey anyway, I talk about how how dragons rising hey back back had the twenty two minute episodes and I think hey twenty two minute episodes are are a little bit better than and the eleven minute episodes are that because as that's what Ninjago is, a 22 minute episode show. I'm going to be starting this watching review series of the season. And with the first episode, as always, I give my thoughts a little bit at the end of the watching review. And if you enjoyed today's Ninjago season 10 and episode watching review, Make sure to give this video a like and comment. And if you're new to the channel, press the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so uh, you will be notified of when a uh, uh, new Ninjago video is uploaded to the channel. And that's going to my uh, Ninjago uh, Season 10 and much of the only watching review, Episode 1. And enjoy the uh, watching review. And it was like Lord is at a <laughs> Trinitarian prison. And he's got his uh, legacy suit on. And uh, that's the uh, place where Gamadon is at. And since he was arrested by the end of uh, season 9. And he's in cell 1. Which is... Is the most heavily guarded part of Criterion Prison, and that's where Astria is going to be at when and she got defeated in, in the fire chapter of season in 11, all the way up to Ninja got crystallized when she got broke out, and when the ninja and when her help with her getting near. Yeah, free from being merged with the uh, uh, ocean. Very wise. And he's been a total chicken. And I got it. I got Domino on his way. Hey, powerful. Yeah, uh, in, in the end of season 8 and in throughout season 9. But, yeah, he's like. Hey, very secure. You know, in in his cell with no power, so oh, no need to be yeah, totally checking about it. Today? Today. And also kinda kind of, you know, having a super kind of in Medea. Yeah, you know, and having a walkway. It'd be like a yeah, somewhat of a uh, uh, drawbridge or something. 
Hey, you know, and just in case if he tries to, you know, escape. Hey, that's right. Hey, hey, close out, smart thing. Hey, to do. Well, well, if it isn't the green ninja. Hey, yeah, that is going to be about the thing that Bombadon said to him last season about how, how the things are plumbing. Hey, which is literally in the last episode when he got had been defeated. And that's the other word for the only. And I guess he can sense them coming. And, and which is kind of similar to here later on in Twist Eyes when and Harumi, hey, hey, got the, the twist of that hold, holded the overlord in it. So, I guess that's not too far uh, fetched. <laughs> And, and he did say he saw things in the departed realm. Now about the Oni. Hey, like, and going from realm to realm. And, and covering them in, in black clouds. Which we do see later on when the Oni come to King And that's somewhat like how the Conqueror did. Hey, then, and up in the last part of Minia. And besides, hey, it's the only. Hey, join in Ninjago. And unlike the only, he used the black clouds. Hey, a version of King of the Conqueror, and called the Conqueror, hey, didn't need any black clouds. He just used his time travel and hey, multi also travel powers to destroy. Hey, an entire uh, timeline and the uh, universe. S U. Let me out, and you might have a chance. Hmm. How do I put this? No, and trust you ever again. <laughs> that is kind of ironic because, hey, yeah, literally, and there's not gonna be too many people left in in the draw the wind for uh, only come. And literally when and the overlord yeah turn turned everybody in and drag them to crystal uh, zombies with his Vengestone and crystal hell uh, warriors. And this Ms. Tate's a tea shop. And we are uh, we burn the sea. I think I kinda of said if we got a lot of uh, we building to do once they take Ninjago, say, back from Gamadon and enjoy my season 9 hang reviews. Hey, uh, join the last season uh, before this one. Can we not just go under them? Oh, use the energy dragon is that. And you ninja and pointy don't use it anymore. Had to get to the uh, uh, dock and for uh, the thing that the uh, commissioner wants uh, to show them. Huh? Right then, if you guys got your energy dragons, you go to Benra. Yeah, already. Hey, it's still weird that they never use. The energy hey, dragons anymore. Yeah, that made them feel a little bit too overpowered, but yeah, they, they literally used the, the energy dragons in the first episode of uh, season 6 Skybound to get to the uh, uh, hospital where Will Nelson was with his broken legs and went all the way to here sticks. Wow. Um, that's more like with the uh, help of death, but uh, still, we can use the uh, energy dragons to get to places uh, a whole lot quicker than, than just using and cause Elf Joa to he get all the way to the uh, uh, harbor.
And I guess he's been insane about a fall wire that his foot literally may fall asleep. Ahem, <laughs> the kid still doesn't believe his dad about the ninja had gone by. I guess he's going to believe him once Cole comes through. Hey, she tried that. Head to the hallway and catching up with Zing and Pixel. Wow, to be fair, his foot was asleep. And there's a real crew loader on that a vehicle. But not too much real crew yeah, logo was in Ninjago since and Ninjago season and sex and style bound. I do agree with the commissioner. Hey, where is the old mayor? Yeah, hey, we do finally see the mayor in crystallized, but it's not the same mayor. Hey, the commercial was mentioning. Hey, and from, I feel, I found a couple of lines from both commercial and their gossip, both in this season and all the way back in, in season two. And what we know is, is the mayor's, uh, uh, she. Hey, and, and for some reason, she's not, not even around or, or not even mentioned. That much, which is kind of weird. Hey, look, why matching the mayor? Hey, we've all crystallized with hey, trustable. If we're not going to show who the previous hey, mayor of Ninjago is, hey, why is the mayor in Ninjago hey, if the hey, royal family hey, hey, in the Drake Palace has been around? And for a really long time, and which is a big that a question. Ah, and with that, the uh, dusting is bumpy. Right. How the heck did we rebuild a bounty? And you're like, which are a half of it was in the first round to, to be rebuilt into the speeders the Dragon Hunters hey, had to use. I guess they were just yeah, had cut down some trees and used the wood had to, to rebuild the bounty with the half that was in, in Drago. I guess they had to go through a whole lot of wood uh, just to uh, rebuild a bounty and I saw some uh, technology stuff for the uh, uh, thrusters and boosters. And the time was both more start the high. They might have a doomsday. Hey, yeah, I believe this is literally the last time. You will be seeing a mother uh, doomsday. Hey, and I think you already saw his butt shop yeah, and his current butt shop. Remember last time, all the way back in season four, you know, a tournament of elements. And when and Kai was getting some people there to come and help fight the Anakondri uh, worshippers. And they finally rebuilt have our monster high. And still things kind of weird. We didn't and immediately rebuilt it after they got burned down. And I do that. And they want to show off the new base for the ninja. And from season one all the way up to now, but still. Because Dundas is rebuilding the monster uh a long time ago. Yeah, like I said, like way up, like way after 
and the monster got bent down by Roy Dent, and the head number high. See my gang? Some and his Jay's underwear in the tree behind my Kai. Now in, and Dre's practicing with Kai tells near to be his yin, and like a yin and yang type of thing, and pretty much like a like being being proposed to somebody, and which means they be together for a really long time. It's kind of like hey, what Hiccup and Astrid were doing in Race to the Edge with being betrothed. I was in, I believe, in the second episode of uh, season and five, I believe. So what do you say we make it official? Yes! <laughs> Why are you surprised about that? Hey, like, you see those two, they've been like boyfriend and girlfriend for a long time, so of course he's going to eventually as near to be his yang. And so it's not uh, that uh, surprising, Delph. Secret tradition, Jay. Uh, and there's near in her kimono, which is exactly like the when she used to wear before her uh, they hey went on and made more seasons of Ninjago. But this time in in blue. The last one she had was in, in red, and so they pretty much just recolored her old outfit before she became a ninja and and semi ex. And the mirror is is showing off the previous ninja seasons. From a pilot all the way up to the last season. And apparently, I say they had a off screen adventure with Klaus in the uh, Temple of Light, which I believe is a series of books in which I never read. I all have. And it, and because I'm mostly a, a Ninjago TV guy, I who watches. Uh, Every single episode of Ninjago. Oh, and we kind of forgot to put in and the uh, day of the deposit for him. Yeah, and Kai and Dara confused. Well, and Nia and Dre, uh, yeah, still remember her uh, and the events of season six. And yeah, does it make sense for that family because uh, Jay and Nia, Jay or Nia, or both, probably told the monks to uh, pin on the hair. Yeah, I mean, that's probably uh, getting everybody else probably to remember what happened and during and the events of season six because. In the first episode of Master of the Mountain, uh, Lloyd uh, mentioned the tea part of Taiwan, and it was also you know, in the uh, Explorers Club uh, during the events of Seabound. <laughs> and for those who don't know what the tornado you know, creation is, is pretty much one big spinjutsu combined with the ninja's spinjutsu to create a, a new stuff and to help a ninja yeah, fight in battle. Like with the Sonic Raider yeah, and, and also John Campbell to fight the original yeah, Samurai Axe, which used to be in here, and later on in in this season, pretty much in the last episode of the season, and the ninja, Wu and Domodon, and 
can use those Benjutsu tornadoes to make a tornado of creation. Except I don't remember it looking that impressive. And he comes faith and that frosted born. And this is a, and so far this is literally the last time. Having we seen both of them. Like I said, enjoying my season nine. I am watching reviews. Yeah, we might see them coming then. And in future Ninjago seasons. There is also something. And because virtually all of the realms combined into one are enjoying the merge. So again, we might see need the first realm again. And in future uh, dragons rising in seasons. Uh, and she's badly uh, hurt after they were up in the first realm with the uh, uh, Oni. But that's kind of like in, in the, at least we've been the first 20 or so minutes of Avengers Endgame. And then Tony whipped out his auto reactor in. And he had to rest and for the rest of the day while well, the rest of Avengers, Captain Marvel, and what's left of the Guardians of the Galaxy to deal with in the finals. Yeah, he's like, get that back, and I smoke out all the way. Yeah, and that won't be the last thing we we'll be hearing. Hey, hey, what the first Benjutsu Master uh, feared. And the next one's going to be about Vigila when he, he left the first one and came to Ninjago, uh, before it became Ninjago. Then, the next time we'll be hearing something similar is about Heaven Merge, which is also called the uh, Coalescence. And so, he had three things to fear about and had to deal with. The legends, right? Many legends. So, what's in all these rooms? A bunch of stuff that are here. That makes no sense at all because. And Hiroshi is, and Robert is literally the paid good price to take all of the dangerous objects because and from Red and Misato I said to Narcon and, and from what Garmadon said to Roy and those who go into Hiroshi's Robert when they never come back out. So it's a whole lot better to keep the artifacts in the library then and literally right underneath hey, the entire ninja of city because it's like the ninja we're going to do uh, all the way into the uh, crystals when we're trying to get us real staff and we're really trying to break in and, and then trying to steal uh, us real staff and so yeah uh, and Cleveland them under the city, the items under the city, it makes literally no sense. Uh, and something like this will, will or might happen too. And with the only, you know, using the, the wrong crystal with their own powers, they, they literally go way into hearing in the city. So again, I wish his Robert is a lot better uh, place to keep all of the powerful uh, items right there and one crystal here. Then get out of the house as just you can. And there's one of the only in the black crowd. Oh, 
I was say I saw I messed with the uh, controls a little bit because I made sure I uh, button point about how uh, lever up and makes it go forward usually I think and going down makes it reverse. So and that's kinda of like how how old did in home when he he fixed up tips car and made into he uh, flying and car with of uh, uh solar machines and that was, that was in a in a convenience store. And he still works on the uh, uh, model ship. Sorry, sir, but we got a serious problem. Anyway, there were black clouds and men right outside the boys tower and, and covering all of Ninjago City. And then we see what we was talking about. And when Faith told him about how people are turning to his statues. I said there's also some black lines and going on to people too when they hey retrieve freeze into a statue and whatever but they did right into a black crowd. Like yeah. Hey eventually he does not going to yeah, do much because yeah, but only intends to yeah, cover all of Ninjago and the other realms in complete hey, darkness. Okay, boys. Hey, the they really need hey, more equipment than just yeah, tasers and stuff. Yeah, and no wonder the ninja always come in and save the day because the uh, police literally don't have uh, better equipment. They yeah, could have done something better. Again, we need yeah, a whole lot better equipment than, than just uh, tasers. And yeah, their powers which they have no effect on on the black cloud. And that was pretty close. We need to go save some more and that's a right for watching review and now let's move on to the fox section of this watching review. And that was the first episode of Ninjago Season 10, much of an Oni. And, and that was a pretty crazy start to the season, with yeah, the Oni coming to Ninjago yeah, near the yeah, end of the episode, and Gamadon accept yeah, yeah, to be free and help the ninja to fight off the Oni. And since Gamadon is half only to heal his heritage with the first bench of the master uh, and and call almost that not frozen like a statue by the black clouds how the hand and first born and five came to Ninjago to warn the ninja and I still think it's weird uh, yeah Alphax came into Ninjago City right under it. Yeah, because I saw his board thinks it's a lot better to have the Alphax right underneath the city. Hey, which I already explained why I thought that didn't make any sense during any of our watching review. Here we are. And that's going to be it for today's Ninjago Season 10. Episode watching review and like, comment, and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to new. And more videos will be coming your way soon. And I will see you guys next time on Ninja Master Net.